So I can't speak for you, but I can tell you that I don't think that panel replacement because of rust is any fun. We replaced over the last 10 months, both rockers, both cab corners, passenger side floorboard, the bed, both front fenders, and I patched unknown amounts of small holes and stuff, worked on the window frame, and I'm not gonna waste your time telling you all the other spots that I had to fix because of corrosion and rust. And today I'm gonna make sure, at least get started on making sure that that doesn't happen again anytime soon for my sake. So we are gonna rust proof this thing with a product that I think is really neat. What little I've used it, I think it's awesome, and the technique that goes along with it. So. Thanks for watching, and let's see if we can't preserve on this truck for a little while longer. So the product that we're gonna use is called Fluid Film. I picked up a gallon of this. I plan to do it annually. This should be plenty to do this vehicle, maybe a few times. Also picked up this spray gun for undercoating or stuff like that. Comes with a couple different nozzles. I'll show you the box so you can get the information if you're interested. But this and this is a killer team for rust prevention. Check that out. So although this stuff doesn't look very pleasant, the smell is actually pretty good. Lean in a bit and uh, you know suck some of that in. See? Not too bad, actually. Surprisingly good, I'll say. Not good enough for me to attempt eating it, but it doesn't smell bad, which is a good thing. So let's get some of this loaded into this spray gun and spray it on the vehicle. So I actually picked up the spray gun at the suggestion of Eric over, look at this, over at South Main Auto. Now it is not something that would be not heavy duty enough for industrial use, it's kind of flimsy. But for using this thing, you know, a couple times a year, for what it costs, it was worth it in my opinion. So let's put a little in this cup Definitely more effective ways of loading this than what I'm doing, but it is working. We'll load this thing up and then work our way under the vehicle. I think that's enough. And, uh, you know, start spraying it in the cavities and such. So these old Chevy pickup trucks were pretty bad at rusting in this particular area. And that area is about the size of the truck. And I want to make sure, now that I've got this thing painted, that it stays nice as long as possible. Now. You don't want to apply any oils or anything to one if you're going to be doing any body work to it anytime soon because it will, it'll definitely mess with your paint and primer and all that stuff, cause your materials not to stick. So if you're going to be restoring one, just, just hold off. But keep in mind, you do not have to buy this fluid film. You can use used motor oil, gear oil, bar oil from a chainsaw. It I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, diesel fuel, there's, all these products are gonna work. This stuff was highly recommended. I wanted to try it. Supposedly it sticks around for a very long time. So, plus it smells pretty decent, kinda. So let's get this thing rust proofed. So the spray gun here is made by TPC Global. It comes with two hoses, one that sprays you know, out all the way around, and then one that sprays directly uh, in front of the of the nozzle there, so you can shoot it at pinpoint, or you know you can cover an area or a cavity, you know, back inside of a body panel, which is really nice. And right now I've got the one that sprays, you know, all the way around. So I'm going to pull out this marker light and then shove this hose down in there and give it a good coating. So this kind of sprays out a mist, all just in a big old circle, really. So I'm just going to go around. Really pretty neat the way that it works, to be honest. Now when I got this old truck, it was pretty rusty, but it really didn't get any worse than it was when I got it uh, the whole time that I owned it, because a couple times a year, I would soak this thing down with motor oil in or thinking that one day I may fix it. And I'm glad that I done that because it would have been much worse than it was had I not, you know, at least tried to slow down the corrosion that was happening. So I know that you probably can't see that, but there, trust me, is a fine film of oil all the way around on this surface where if you just use like a squirt gun, you know, you just pretty much get the oil in a localized spot. This tip really makes a big difference. 
So with this nozzle here, I mean, you can get in places you're just not gonna get in any other way. Snake it back into the panel, back into the hood. And it just sprays a fine mist of this stuff out that you know, just coats everything. So you can just, you know, accept the fact that this stuff is going to get everywhere. It's going to settle on everything. Watch, watch this. Every cavity that this thing has, I'm spraying a little bit in, but you don't got to go overboard. Watch. See it coming out over here? I don't know if you can see that or not through the camera, but it's a super fine mist of that product, and it's just going to stick to every surface inside. It's like fogging the inside of your, you know, places where you just couldn't, couldn't reach otherwise. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to wipe everything off. But I'll argue that it's probably worth it, especially if you live in an environment where, you know, corrosion's a big deal. So here is a super critical part. Most trucks, most that I see, you know, old ones that are 10 or plus years old, they're all rusted out in the rockers, and this one was eaten completely up. So we're gonna take this thing and snake it up into the back of this rocker. If I can get this air hose to cooperate. And just pull the trigger on this thing and slowly pull it, you know, back towards me and it will coat the entire inside of that thing. Makes me feel good. Let's do it again just because we can. So these Chevy pickup trucks were bad about rusting out right above the wheel well. And there's three drains here. This is just a big, imagine that the bedside is like a big pop can, kind of, up in this area anyway. It's enclosed and mud and stuff gets packed up in these drain holes. If you don't keep those clean, salt gets thrown up in there from the roadway. You can shove this thing up in those drain holes, give it a good blast. And you can coat that sheet metal back in there Otherwise, you just, you wouldn't be able to do it. Maybe, you know, couldn't hurt anything to spray this stuff in there. So pretty much where any two pieces of metal overlap, I'm even going to spray up into these pillars, cab pillars, because believe it or not, they rust up in these trucks as well. And while I've got the dash out, I've got good access to just shove this hose up in there and go way up in there. And then I can take the dome light out and spray up in the roof as well, up because there's a cavity in there. And they rust it as well. in the kick panels. We had a mouse hotel in there when I took this thing apart. So I wish I'd have known about this tool 10 years ago because in the past I just used, used motor oil, transmission fluid, gear oil, you know, whatever I had basically in a spray gun. Sometimes I, well, I have that sure shot sprayer, but it only sprays in a straight line and you can only get pretty much line of sight stuff. You can't really get up in these bedsides and coat the entire surface good, you know, like you can with something like this. So I like this a lot. So check out that tip. 
it just hopefully you can see that it sprays forward and uh, you know in four directions so 360 degrees basically just a fine mist these tailgates were really bad about rusting out you know down along this bottom seam here it's just because they get full of leaves and dirt and stuff and you know stay wet and that uh, pinch seam you know would start rusting there's holes down here you can get up in there I've got the handle out so I can go all the way up in here and coat that as well. So choosing paint colors, especially a two-tone, man, it's it's a job. And I, I labored over that for quite some time, you know, going back and forth in my mind, wondering if this was going to turn out the way that I envisioned it in my mind, because I didn't go off anyone else's paint codes or colors. I just went to the paint shop, used paint chips, put them next to each other, and you know, used my best judgment, and I think it turned out awesome. These colors just go together well. About the same amount of flake in each, metallic flake. They just look good, in my opinion. Now, I've been calling this a brown, but technically it is a dark bronze, and then this is actually, I've been calling it gold, but it's a bronze gold. And for anybody out there who wants to duplicate these colors, they look good together, in my opinion, and a lot of, got a lot of positive feedback when, when I revealed this thing. I want to give you the paint codes off of these specific colors. That way you can replicate it if you want, right? So for products, these are all Shopline Plus by PPG. Any PPG paint dealer will should have, have this exact same you know, colors. Now, the secondary color or the gold stripe at the bottom of the truck, I bought a gallon of the paint, but I ended up only using about two quarts of it. So... That'll give you an idea of how much paint that I used. I'll also tell you on the primary color as well. But the paint code on this dark bronze is 907897. And then it has an OEM code here, C20. Not for sure exactly, you know, what that uh, what that relates to, unless this is a factory color for some automotive, you know, some car out there. Now, the brown, or the dark bronze technically, the paint code is 941191, and then it has an OEM code of LB8Q2J, and I used, to paint this truck, I used about uh, three quarts of, of the brown, the primary color. Now, as far as clear, I used the Shopline Plus by PPG, all made by the same thing. This is a high solid European clear, and yeah, I probably used, this was five quarts, and I probably used, or five liters, and I probably used three, I'm guessing, maybe three and a half, just a guess. Now, I cannot tell you that this is great stuff, or I cannot tell you that this is bad stuff. I am not a professional painter, and I have basically zero background, you know, or anything in my knowledge bank to compare this stuff to. All I can tell you is that my paint job turned out awesome, in my opinion, and, uh, you know, I'm really happy with the product. So, if you want to duplicate my colors, that's what I used. So, real simple video this week. Kind of taking it easy, to be honest. Super pleased with the way that that rust proofing works. Love that fluid film. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I bought all of that stuff just like anybody else would. I like the way that that stuff is a lot less prone to run out and drip out of the panels and stuff like you would see with motor oil. Plus, it's not like some rubberized undercoating that is uh, likely to hold moisture up under it and then even make your, uh, your rust issues worse. I've seen that before. So fluid film from me, you know, gets a big thumbs up. Plus that spray gun, although not an industrial spray gun, you know, it did the trick. So I'm happy with the way that that worked out. Got the back glass in this truck. I, I didn't show any of that. Me and my brother put that in. I will show you when we go to put the front glass in because they're kind of tricky. They go in both ways, rope them in, and then put a locking strip in. But the front glass is a lot more risky because they're, they're curved, prone to break, not super easy to do. So I'll share with that with you when it comes time to do that. We still got to put the trim on this thing. I got to totally, you know, go over the interior on this. I got a lot of work to do uh, left with that, but this thing's looking awesome if I do say so myself. Also got a really neat piece of new shop equipment. It's not new. It's older than I am that I am super stoked 
to share with you. And I'm going to do that really, really soon. So, you know, keep your eyes open for a video, maybe, maybe midweek on a new piece of shop equipment. Um, it's awesome. I'll, I'll just say that. So simple, but awesome. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, anybody who's helped me out whatsoever, much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.